Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Class C Division from Lakeside Lanes in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm Paul Grinty live on the ACST Facebook page. Today, it's the number two seed and division leader, Casey McCool, hosting Chris Curley. It'll be a five-string format, five blocks at a time. As usual, two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. Chris Curley is the visiting bowler. Casey McCool is bowling second. Chris Curley leads off on lane three. Thirty-eight-year-old, thirty-eight-year-old Chris Curley, trying to work on his approach, working on his short and stride, working on his mechanics, getting some lessons here at the uh, one of the workers here today. Three drop there. Good second ball, right down the middle, perfect shot, two full. Three to the right, two point seven left. First to five strings underway. This is a week seven matchup. Chris, object pin, only got one for a seven to start. Or is that an eight? I'll check that in just a moment. Once that pin falls down before the sweeper, look out. And he moves that five pin over, the bundle of six. Good piece of wood in the back to help. I thought it might be an eight. Ask him afterwards. Looks good. Just said last moment. I couldn't miss by much. One and three. So that was an eight box because the pin fell down late. So an eight instead of a seven, that first box. And Chris back to back eight, 16 through two here in the first of five from Manchester. Tomorrow night on Kenneth Ball Network, it's the Friday Night Pro League game of the week. Red Hot Central won fifth place. Tied for fourth, but fifth overall by total windfall. Chris Curley, Clippling Eagle. It would be Woburn 2. Mark Hollywood Smith, Will Damon and Company. Taking on Central 1. Justin Waters, Danny Harris. Another Roger pin hit there. So that's a good sign. No lot of his objects so far. Nothing to show for it yet. Chris can throw a 130, just capable of throwing a 77 right afterwards. There's a 6 there, 22 through 3. Chris coming in at just a 91 average. His highest for year was 90. 105 is highest for the season. He's blowing two or three times a week. Ninety-one point seven six average officially in the ACST for six weeks, eighteen-week season. He has the two and the seven. What the hell? Right. And that'll be an eight. Thirty through four. Tough matchup against Casey McCool, a red-hot bowler. His average has gone down four points. Since. Well, ninety-seven last year up to one hundred six after the summer. Nice ball by Chris there. The split, four seven to four goals. Now it's the seven and nine. Wood coming out of play. That's that ten foot line. It may roll back. If I go get the wood, it would, it would go away, head back. But looks like it's not going to move. So Tim Lipke, the Canlipan Hall of Famer, the owner here of Lakeside Lanes, will move that wood. Chris has an interesting leaf. He'll go with the two pieces of wood by the nine pin, trying to kick over to the seven. Got a shot at it. It won't be easy. Chris from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Ruben Salisbury, Newburyport. So I have Aaron, 33 years old. That's his son, Austin. He was 13. Nice bid. Oh, he got it. Wow, what a shot. Just the way I thought he'd do it. Nice way to finish the half. 40 plus one, that might get him going. Here's Casey McCool starting his first to five. Beautiful shot by Chris Curley. Good for him. Casey knocks the right five. Both balls agree to the lemon drop pool. 
punch up the four or the six pin on your first shot. One dollar to help Caleb Finch for cancer. Second ball is the parallel pins. One five to the right, two eight to the left. Casey, a seven. Kate Chris Curley, a one pin lead, box to box. Casey is a 40 plus one half, Chris Curley. To the match with Chris Curley, January 2nd, he threw five strikes in one match, three in one string, and a double. He had more strikes than Keith Bolfrey in that match, not with him head to head, it was a doubles match. That's how good he was that day. Casey McCool, the 1 2 7 10. Beautiful shot. Oh, right over the tank. Great bid. Excellent try. I went up with the King of the Hill last weekend. It's a nine. And we're tied through two boxes, 16 apiece. Up against a six, eight, and a spare. It's good to cover the C bowl. It's giving their recognition. Try to work the way up to B class. In the block, a beautiful ball there, nine. Just a 10 pin left up. Through a 624 here. I can't help Mr. Cancel roll off. Nice ball, spare. 26 in the ball through three. Each ball with one spare. Casey coming in at 58 and 26 in Division 4 North. On the bonus, 6, the 1, 2, 4, and the 8. Sleeping behind the 2 pin. 32 through 3 in the first of 5. Who's up the head pin? And 9, 41 through 4. Up 11, box to box, up against a spare from Chris Curley. Casey's had some big strings this year. Week one against Anthony Karen, went 10 and 4, had a 131 second string. Off to the right, same thing, 1, 2, 4 in the 8. And a 133 third string in week two against Brian Hebert. On the object, pin, nothing else. 2, 4. In the eight behind the two. Nice out for a 10, 51 half. Halfway through the first of five from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. You're watching the Class C division of the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. All great to live on the ACST Facebook page. Like, share, subscribe. ACST Facebook page. Chris Curley on a spare, 40 in a ball. Just two. 42 half, down 9. Those hurt. That's the ball I wanted. Ball too late. The 3 to the right, the 5 to the left. Early in 8. 50 through 6. On paper, Casey should win this match by 55 pins. Deb Jerosian, the Women's Kennel for Cancer, roll off Saturday, around 100 average, through a 563, 63 over average, give or take. Number four seed. On the live show, January 14th, the Big 20, on Kennel for Bowling Network. So anything can happen any given day. Chris has had those moments, just not consistent. There's the 137, Wood to Hell. And oh, good shot there. Second spare of the string. Both in the last three boxes, so you can fill it up better this time. 16 of all through 7. Trying to shorten that stride. Releasing the ball too far, Mark Ritchie said before the power line. And sail the right of one fill. Ouch. A 2 and a 1 fill. 61 through 7. His timing is working his timing. Again, second ball better than the first. 4 and the 8. Step back in class B to class C. They should have worked in this game. Jekyll and Hyde, as usual, 10. 71 through 8 with two spares. Three bonus pins combined on the fills. 
That won't get the job done against Casey McCool. Chris pocket, nice ball for strike nine. Seven pin left up, good piece of wood. We'll see him Saturday morning at Metro Bowl, 9.30. If you want to bowl the figure of family fun, 9.30 to Saturday, come on down, 9 o'clock, to register a $40 entry fee. For a spare, oh, you got to be kidding me. Just grazed that wood, missed opportunity. I need a mark to a chance of the strike. 9.80 through 9. He was down nine halfway through, so Mark is pretty much a must here. And once again, hooks it right. Again, one, six, good second ball, wow! Yeah, we're taking a second shot of this first ball. Not even a ball through not in the tenth. Third mark of the strength. That's a big fill. This time he gets it. Eight. That's more like it. Ends up with a 98 first strength. So Casey does not need a mark to win the strength. They need 48, though, without a mark to win it. Strong finish by Chris. We've got better fills. Would have forced Casey to definitely get a mark. But a nice finish by Chris Curley. Above his average by about seven pins. Casey in the pocket. He's got the seven and the eight. And a spare six in the third. Up nine halfway through the string, box to box. For a spare. Doink. Okay. Nothing doing again. Eight box, 59 through six, up nine the string. Needs four tens to win the string without a mark. Glass match two and 12 against Jason Brown. Red hot up to that point. Boston from right the one three six ten. Knocks out the three. Nice out, big ten. Sixty nine through seven needs three more tens to win the string. Chris Curley, 98. The block hit the check mark. It's the five to the right, two, four, seven left. Casey had a 136 fifth string against Eric Holly Jr. in week three. Lost by three pins to Jared Lyons. I beat him by three pins, rather. 552, 549. And there's a spare, and that should help do it in the first string. Anyway, he does in the mark, in the box. 79 the ball through eight, second spare of the string. Chris Curley has three spares, but it fills with two, one, and eight, lower to score. On the bonus, five, one, two, seven, so the right is the six and the nine. Five on the spare. Eighty four through eight. It takes his time. Got all but the head pin. Now in good shape to win the strength. Chris had his opportunity here in the first. Casey at 9, 93 through 9, needs 6 pins to win the strength. And the spare 2 and the spare 1 definitely hurt Chris Curley. And the 6 box didn't help either. And 
there's the first string. Two points go to Casey McCool. He's at the century mark right now. Shoot eight and a ten. Wood to help. Good try. Wood hits the eight, but not enough on it. Casey at 10, 103 for a string, wins it by 5, despite being outmarked by Chris, 3 to 2. But the fills were huge. Casey fills 6 and 5, Chris just 11 points and 3 square fills. So Casey McCool takes it by 5 pins, 103.98. This is the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour Class C Division, Week 7 matchup, all with you live from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire on the ACST Facebook page. Chris Curl, the second spring underway. It's two. Casey. Chris needs a big out here. Nice out, 10. Beautiful shot. It could just be his first ball. The second ball is pretty good in that first string. It's the first ball that killed him. Had nine drop once with a high piece of wood. Didn't go for him for a spare. That's the one, two, seven, ten. Second string of five from Lakeside. Just missed. Chris won the King of the River at Riverwalk Lanes Amesbury Mass. Mark Richie's house twice this year, eight times overall. Also won a high low jack one time for over dollars there as well. His nine, 19 from two. Chris works at Duncan. Also has a daughter star with two R's. Ten years old. Here's a Clary. Aimed at the Bob Clary. Pro Bowls the wood. These go one in five times. Stats by Kenneth Bowling Network. Full seats of the one and the eight. Curly. Nice out. Good pinning. 10 9 10. 29 through 3. Seven better than the first string. If you missed the first string, Chris had his chance of a spear fills, crushed him. Lost by five. This time he goes left, gets four. Now it's the one, five, and the eight. That'll be an eight box, 37 through four here in the second. 98 in the first string. Missed a lot of points in the table. This bowling here is Mark Ritchie, Brian Fuller Jr., John Winchell, and Gary Carrington. Some excellent choices. Right ahead pin has the hay bale, pack of five plus the 10. Big Madden football video gamer. The lefty has the one in the ten. It's an open half. Good pinning. Get a 42 half in the first string with a spare two. Punch out the six and ten that fell. Nine box, 46 half without a mark. Not bad for the class C bowler, Chris Turley. He was over his average in the first string, but squandered the chance to win the first two points. Casey McCool up by five and leading two nothing. Again, two points for a win, one for a tie. Well, if total looks like the ball in the Atlantic Health and Signal Store, message Jenny Finn, F I N N, on Facebook Messenger, or at Ryan Family Musings, Millis Mass. We have a Class A, Class B, Class D division, North and Southern Con divisions, conferences. 32 teams overall, and a class in Maine, 16 teams. Hoping to get to 32 next year. Run by Matt Huff and Mark Webber. Casey missed a left. That'll be a five. 
So Chris at five in the string. The match is tied. Box to box right now. Chris at a 46 half. Also a class D division coming out next year as well. At least that's the plan. So bowls in the 80 average range can get involved. Start working the game. Try to get to class C and then B and then A. That's the goal. in that first ball. Chopped up one on the left. Bundle of six. Big out. Gets an eight. 13 through two. Chris Curley up one in the match. That was a five in that first box, Chris. School books corrected now. Five and eight. 13 through two. Third box, second three. Nice ball in the pocket. Nine. Beautiful shot. Had a nine pin drop in the first inning, made it for a spare. Chris had one opportunity, he missed it. And Casey is on it again, two for two in single pins. 23 in a ball through three. Each ball with three spares in the match. On the bonus. Five, make it four, four in the spare. 27 through three, down two in the string, up three in the match. Good second ball. Eight pin holds up, it's got the six ten to the right. The short two here. Oh, got all three, beautiful shot. 10 box, 37 through four, the string is tied. Casey have five in the match. Up against nine box from Chris Curley. He sees three spare fields, six, five, and four in that order. On the headpin again, strike! All fired up in that one. Second mark of the string, first strike of the match. Three to the side. The home bowler, number two in the conference. 47 out plus one, up six in the match. Plus two bonus balls. All draft you live from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Bar, Class C Division, Week 7, 18 week season. Flexible schedule. Curly for a strike, nine! And a half. The second crack at a single pin. Same place takes it. And he missed it. Oh, he did get it. I, thought he, I couldn't see it from this angle. Got blocked by the view. Spare. One for two in the single pins. That's a good sound when you're hitting your single pins. Three spares in the first. One here in the second. 56 in the ball. Six. This time he has a better fill. Oh, he stole the head pin. He's got eight. 7-10 goal pulse. Look at that wood to stop. 64 through 6. And wood in the middle. Try to kick it over. That's what he does. Well, go! Yes! Nice shot! Back-to-back -back spares by Chris Curley. 74 and a ball through 7. And that's the potential we talked about earlier for Chris Curley. Just consistency and timing. Rhythm. On the bonus, off to the right, just three. 77 through six. Trying to bounce back in the pocket almost. Again, that second ball in this marks, so better than this first. All but one box. Four seven left up. Chance for 100 this string. Over his average, two in a row. And he gets the 10. 87 through 8 in the second of 5 from Lakeside. This fills in the match in order 2, 1, 8, 8, and 3. Just off to the left. Steals the right side. Got the 6 10 to fall. He's got the 1 and the 3. Spear so leave. For a spare. Missed it left. Eight, 95 through nine. Had a 98 in the first, lost by five. Mark would be huge. Casey McCool is working a strike up next, 47 plus two. Chris Curley. 
in the pocket. Seven, the triangle, the two, four, and the five. Professional ball is worth is less than one every two times. Stats by Count from Bowling Network. It's going to be huge. He gets to right. A couple of chances. Not easy necessarily, but makeable spares didn't go. It's over the century mark, though. And he gets a nine. 104 second string. He's at 202 through two. Well, of us, 91.7 average. Casey McCool, 47 the ball, working on a strike here in lane four for Manchester, New Hampshire. Tim Lipke's house. Figure of Family Fund Memorial, uh, Memorial Fund Tournament, Saturday, 9.30, Metro Bowl, Peabody, Mass. Be there at 9 o'clock if you're on a bowl. Message me on Candle from Chatham. Facebook message of Paul Grant. Thank you for your support. $25 each bowl will go to the prize fund, figure of family fund directly. $15 goes to Metro Bowl for each person. Casey first ball on the strike, 247, 3610 rather. Off the ball, won't go. Got the three and the six, not the ten. Big nine, fill off 56 half. Up ten in the string, 15 in the match. Nice ten. 66 through six, now up two in the string, seven in the match. And just like the first string, needs a bunch of tens to win. He'll need 48 to tie, 49, correction, 38 to tie, 39 to win. Got a break, this time it's the one, two, and the four. He has three spares and one strike in the match so far. For a spare. Oh! A little too thin, almost stole it. Too thin left up. Chris Curley grabs the lead in the match for now. Spring, rather. Casey McCool in nine, 75 through seven. So it's a two pin lead for Chris Curley. Casey wants three tens to win the string. All of the first string. 77, 75 through seven, box to box. Chris is open. Play, so Casey a chance with the mark to go up one up. And that's the Clary. Little cool for a spare. Mr. the right. Four, not the one, two, four, seven. Nice out, nine. 84 through eight, down three in the string, up two in the match. Two tens to tie, a mark to win. Casey, that's right, got a chance here. Won't be easy, but makeable. The one, two, seven, the eight behind the two pin. Two pieces of wood off to the left of the two pin in front of the seven. Two for two in single pins for spares in this match. One in the first, one in the second. For a spare. Got it. Nice shot. And a chance to win the string now. 94 and a ball through nine. Four spares, one strike in the match. On the bonus, pocket seven, eight. Four seven and he's won the second string and he's four nothing. So Chris 13 over his average, not enough. Casey, back to back spares. 112 and a ball in the 10. Casey with a lot of confidence this year. Had a bad week against Jason Brown. Jason's going really well overall this year, too. Jason, number four seed in the conference, division leader. Casey on the bonus crossing over seven. What a finish. 35 in the last two, a 119 second string. Wins it by 15, 119, 104. He goes to 212. A correction, 222 to 202. He's up 20 in the match. Two down, three to go. The Atlantic Candlepin singles to a Class C division. Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. All in agreement with you live on the ACST Facebook page. We'll show this for us in a moment. Chris Curley, 
Washman. One, the head pin goes now. Now it's the 247. Wood to help. Show it again just a moment. Chris for a spare. Missed it. Can't miss those shots. And nine to start the third of five. Peace be cool. Need the mark. Got it. Big spare nine. Big spare eight to win it. 119-104. Now 20 in the match. Chris, then hit. 2, 5, 9, and 10. Nice shot. Hit the 5. Won't go. Casey can't believe it didn't go either. Chris gets a 10. 19 through 2. Casey up 20 in the match, coming in up 1 0. Curly just missed that pin, has the 1, 2, 4, and the 9. Casey. Chris chopped up the 9, that's the 1, 2, and the 4. Working his fundamentals. Nice 10, just like last string, 29 through 3. Here in the third of five. First two strings go to Casey McCool, 103 98, 119 104. Marks on the stretch to win both. That's clutch bowling. Curly had been there for a strike, 8. He's to win between the 4 and the 8. Use this mark here. Got it with the wood. 39 in the ball through four. Two, three spares in the first, two in the second, one here in the third so far. Each full of six marks. On the bonus. Just missed that pin. Got a break. The one pin does a swivel. Look at that. It did a little dance. Wow. I did almost a 360. Seven in the fill, 46 through four. How the heck did not fall? Oh, I just missed it. He made that shot at King of the River once for Randall plus jackpot. And it's seven blocks, 53 half. His best start the match. Casey McCool up 4 0. Up 20 in the match. 1 by 5, 1 by 15. You look at those final boxes. Didn't get a mark there. Could have marked the 8th box that first string. Then spare 8, spare 9 to win the second. Was down 3 up to 8. Starting his third swing here. Lead 3. Crossing over. He's got the hay bale, the pack of 5. Just needs converting just from 1 over. Here. Three and ten tries for most pro bowls without wood. And he got that one to go. A spare to start the third. Neither bowler got a mark in the first two boxes, the first two strings, until now. So Casey's six spares and one strike in the match. Casey bowls Brian Patton at Academy Lanes. Next match. 2, 4, 7, the 9 in the spare. 16 through 1. Up 7 in the string box to box. 27 in the match. Nice ball. Spare. What a shot. Back to back spares. Going over the last string. He's got four marks in a row overlapping. Obviously, it doesn't count for four in a row. On the spare in the pocket, two pull. 3 2 split, 3 6 right, 2 4 7 left. 31 through 2 in the third of 5 for Manchester. In the hole, Chris Curley at 53 half. 
KC got the three on the left, point eight, Fox. 39 through three. Up 10 in the strength, 30 in the match. So he's a spare seven and a seven box. Raising that pen and got eight, a two and the seven. Got it to go. His third spare of the string in four boxes. 49 of the ball through four. Two spares in the first, three spares, one strike in the second. Three spares so far here in the third. On the fill, half Worcester. Momentum killer. 51 through four in that two fill. And he gets here's the lead in the string. It's a Paul Grant shot. And now you know I hate that shot. A dreaded two box. They're tied 53 apiece. He gets a sarcastic smile on that one. Paul Grant the alive, we're halfway through the match. At Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, Class D Division of the Atlantic Hamilton Single Score. On ACST Facebook page, like, share, subscribe, ACST Facebook page. Chris Curley, Ed Finnett, he's got that 5 six, ten, ugly leave. Doesn't go too often. See if he can pull it off. And a spare seven in the fourth box. For the five, that's all I got. And it's nine, 62 through six. He had a 98 in the first with three marks. Fills of two, one. The reason he lost that string, he lost by five. Had a lead by three late in the string, but Casey McCool, a spare eight, a spare seven, not nine. 35 pins. Last two boxes to win by 20. Chris down for one upping. One, two, seven, eight, nine here. Good bid. Oh, wow, what a shot for a spare. Can't make the easy ones. 72 in a ball through seven. Second spare of the string. Seven in the match. Our hammer will be huge here. In the pocket. It looked good. But just four. You're going to be kidding me. Finally gets the head pin for the second time in the fill. And only four. 76 through seven. Knocks out one. Four one split. Above average is first two strings. Big out for an eight. Eighty four through eight in the third of five. Scores of ninety eight and one oh four. First six weeks of the ACST eighteen week season. Ninety one point seven average. Beautiful head pinhead, a three two split. Chris, object pin again, chops out one, three six right, four seven left. Try to get at least two here. Off the wall. Oh, nice. Oh, it does go. I thought that four would hold up. Nice out of nine, 93 through nine. A mark would be huge. Tied halfway through the second string. Now 20 in the match coming into the third. So again, over his average of the third straight string, but no points to show for it. Casey with a higher average. That's a nice ball for strike nine. Seven pin for a spare. This could help him with a string. And he missed it. And here's the Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. 103, third string. 305 through three. And again, missed opportunities. 
Chase McCool needs a mark to win. 50 to tie. 51 to win. He's up 4 nothing already. Number two seed in the conference. Conference Class C Division. 1-3. Generous lead. And a spare two half Worcester in a two box last time out. And it's dead pin. Casey, 10. 63 through 6. Up one in the string. 21 in the match. Up against a spare four here, though. 40 to tie. With four box to go, 41 to win. And go 6 0. Nice ball. Eight. Puts the stop sign up. Playing police officer. No, no fine for impersonating a police officer here. Would to help. Three pieces at least. Maybe four. Can't tell from back here. Looks like three from my vantage point. For a spare. Got it. 73 to ball through seven. A chance to go up to six. Nothing now. Let's get that dreaded half twist or a lemon drop. I play that wood. KC Bolden, the $30,000 Canlipin Challenge when he was 18 years old. Bolden, the king of the palace. Went around last weekend. Choice golfing as well as kind of bowling. On the phone, it's thin hit on the head pin. Hit the head pin, it won't go. Has a Clary, five on the fill though. 78 through seven. Up two in the string, 22 in the match. Thirty-two old up on the spare, two full, three six ten. You just get to one hundred four to win the string. Nine, eighty-seven through eight up three in the string, twenty-three in the match, seventeen and two boxes to win. And Chris has made him work. Oh, back door. Seven. Almost a strike. That head pin turn left. They may have gone to the two and the four. Generous leave again. This is for a spare. He got it. Once again, coming up big in the stretch. On the stretch. 97 to ball through nine here in the third. Two strings to go after this. Fourth spear, this, make that five spears in this string. Those are six, five, two, plus two blocks, and a spare five. So do it the hard way, this string. Hello, Margaret Cronlin. Thanks for watching this great game of Caleb and Bowling on ACST Facebook page. On the bonus, seven, and he's won the sec the third string. is up six nothing. One hundred four through nine. And the one nineteen, the second, and one hundred three in the first. And he's got another one in the triangle, back to back. Six spares in the string. One fourteen of the ball in the tenth. Eleven spares, one strike, in three strings. Not bad. This is Class C, folks. On the bonus, crossing over nine. What a finish, 123 for Casey McCool. And he leads 6 nothing. Takes about 20 up 40 in the match. Three, uh, Two strings to go. The Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour, Class C Division from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Paul Grant, you live on the ACST Facebook page.
345, a 115 average. The case of McCool. Chris Curley starts off the fourth with three. Chris will try to trip away here now. Still get four points, at least two string wins. Missed everything that time. Put those scores up in just a moment. Casey 242, the last two. Chris starts off the fourth string with a six. Once again, a strong finish by Casey McCool. That's a good sign. Going to Class B next year. Two spares to end the second, two spares to end the third. A spare eighth in the eighth box in the first string. That is clutch bowling. Got to be good for his confidence. Yeah. After a tough week against Jason oh. Brown last week. <laughs> Even at 500. Had to go to the hospital last week. Shoulder. Got some steroids. Feeling better. I right, heard a shoulder last week, so that's why he struggled. It's currently a 9, 15 through 2 here in the 4th of 5. Here's what happened in the first three strings. Chris Curry was in every string. Had a chance to win it, so in case he got red hot at the right time. Off to the right, 1, 2, 7, and 8. Casey cheering him on. Curly. Nice ball, spare. Beautiful shot. 25 and a ball through three here in the fourth. Eighth spare of the match. Trying to slow himself down. Takes a big first step. In the pocket, thin hit. Seven, the triangle. Four, seven, eight. 32 through three. Wood off to the right. Could use it, but you can go right at it. Sometimes we'll use the wood if they're not confident. Done that before a few times. 45% success rate for pro pulls. He goes for it. And oh! It looks so easy, doesn't it? Clean shot to seven pin. And that won't count. That's nine. 41 through four. Again, yeah, Casey McCool up 6 nothing. Scores aren't as close as it looks like because he's tight all the way through. Long way down the, long way down the stretch. All three strings. No lemon drop so far today either. Chris with three. This time it's the hay bale, the pack of five. Has the one and the eight left up for an eight. 49 half. It's not a bad score. It's above his average. He was up the average the first three strings, but nothing to show for it. Case has a 11 pin higher average on paper. Case of 40 in the match coming in. Starting his fourth string here on lane three in Manchester. Six to the right, two, four, seven to the left. He's from Derry, New Hampshire, his whole life. Nice ball! Oh, so close! Heck of an offer. Average 97 last year, up to 106 during the summer. Start red hot at the beginning of the year. As he gets a 10, let's start the fourth. Dropped off to 102 recently after his first six weeks. High single of 165 at a 145 last year. And hit strike! Second strike of the match. 20 plus 2 through 2 here in the fourth of five from Lakeside. And a strike in the second. Had six bears in the third. So overall, he has 11 spares, two strikes in the match. And 32, bo 32 boxes.
Masters up left. First ball on the strike is five, the one, three. Back row is the eight, nine, and the ten. Wood to help. I missed that pin. He's up the one of the eight. Eight fill on the strike, 28 through two. Eight box, 36 through three. Up four in the string, 44 in the match. At a 5.55, we can get. Week three against Eric Polly Jr. at a 136 strike. Strike bid there, eight as the eight and ten. Oh, nice shot of spare. That was nice. 46 in the ball through four here on the fourth. High triple and even 400 as a high five of 658 and a high 10 of 1240. Born since he was three years old. On the square fill, seven. One, two, and the five beyond that pin. 53 through four. For another one, he's got it back to back. He's got three marks this half. 63 through five. I didn't think that last one was going to go. <laughs> Chris Curley in a big hole. Found 6 nothing in points. Needs a few marks. Have a chance to win his first few points. In the pocket, he's got 8. The 2 leans the wrong way. 5 to the right. Mr. the Audrey Penn. Paul Grinthy Live, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, Class C Division of the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. Week 7 matchup of 18. Chris Curley at 10, 59 through 6. If you want to bowl in the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour again, message Danny Finn, F I N N. Danny Finn, Facebook Messenger, or Atlantic or Ryan from Amusements, Millis Mass, Route 109. Home of Outrun the Bear does a great job running three events a year. Kate Finn and Carrie Ann. Very successful tournament. Chris with the Calary. Wood to help. Nice ball. Won't carry to the 4 7. Good bid. Chris for a 10. It's a 9. 68 through 7. In the 4th to 5. This holiday season, all season long. Please help support your local bowling centers and get your friends to fill me involved. Candlepin gift cards is the way to do it. Makes a great holiday gift, stocking stuffer, and all year round a birthday gift, anniversary gift, or a thank you gift. Anniversary gift. Any occasion, thank Candlepin gift cards, the gift that keeps on giving. Chris Crowley, he's at the post. They have a special here at Manchester every Sunday, 12 to 2. $12 for two hours, free rental shoes, $12 a person. Check out every Sunday here at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Chris Curley is 6, 74 through 8. Needs to mark out to have any chance of the string. Four to the left, three, six, ten to the right. Probably needs a double to win the string more likely. Uh, head pin again, object pin rather won't go. Seven box, 81 through nine. 91 is average so far this season. First three above, 98, 104, 103. Chris's overall high single, 149, high triple, 385. High five, 535. Did that in the money match. We did mini money match with Candlepins for Cancer during the summer. There's 70 pins over his average that day in a losing effort. Side 10 is 1125. He needs two to get 90 to 90. 
KC looking good for 8 0 lead. Press the 7 88, one string. Now drop into 393 through 4. Just one spare in the string. Casey McCool, red hot, is feeling it here in the fourth. 63 plus one here on lane four on Lakeside. Very successful tournament run by Tim Lipke here. Thanksgiving tournament. Great turnout. Cross him over. Eight. A three in the ten. Wood to help. 71 half for the Class C bowler. Strike eight, spear seven, spear eight in the string. Another one. The ball comes back almost. Good try. Thought he had it. That would have been three in a row. Nine, 80 through six in the fourth of five. He's nine pins in four boxes. Spear eight, nothing. Have a commanding lead in the match. With one string to go after this. Indiana Jones wannabe. Seven box, fourth string. In the pocket for a strike, he's got it. Second strike of the string, wow. 90 plus two through seven. Three strikes in the match. Had a strike in the second string also. Six pairs and at 123. Third string, 119 the second. After a tough out last time against Jason Brown, losing 12 of 14, and be looking for a 14 0 sweep. Chris will try to get at least two in the fifth string. First ball of the strike. For a double, bang! Double strike! Wow! One ten plus bonus balls. Fantastic. Three strikes in the string. Who said this was Class C, folks? Oh, Jeffrey Scott Little. He's got Brian Patton next, then Jeffrey Scott Little. Jeff, Jeff Little, I should say. Or a triple. He's got a chance. Oh. 2-7 left, that's 28 in that first strike. 108 through 7. 118 the ball here. And a spare on double strike. The onslaught continues. 128 through 8. 138 and a ball through 9. Wow. Six marks in the third, six marks in the fourth. Again, through a 624 here in the Candle Punch of Cancer. Last series out. That should be December 18th at Ports of Blow Romer. December 18th, Sunday, 11 o'clock. Come on down to Ports of Blow Romer. Support Candle Punch for Cancer. Number one seed, Sean Baker, 732 here. Dean Sullivan was second at 696. Casey in the pocket. Eight. Nine. The wood hits the. No, almost hit the three. A nine fell. One. 47 through 9. Insane. He's got... Oh, I thought he had it. Oh, just missed it. Sailed away last second. Yeah, I thought I was not that one. That would have been number 7 of the string. Could have got his high single 165, but nothing wrong with a 9 box. And a 156 Class C 4th string for Casey McCool. What a performance. Casey McCool, 156. 12 marks in the last two strings. Class C, folks. Atlantic Candlepin singles to a Paul Green with you live from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. A final string of the way. Chris Curley for a strike. It's nine. Try to get at least two points. A 156-88 win for Casey in that string. And that gives him 5-0-1-4. Chris missed it. 501 through 4, a 125 plus average, had a 103 to start. And that's the Paul Grant special, Mr. Second, make the third for 10 to start the fifth for Chris Curley. Chris, three good strings, all above average to the last one. You're going to 88. 
Casey. Curly. Three. And no lemon drops today. I'm still going to donate to the. Casey's still going to donate. What a good heart. Casey, give me your festive mood. Chris Curly, what a try. Why can't I do this on Monday nights? <laughs> That 156 would have been over Chris Curley. Back to back tens to start the fifth. What a performance by Casey McCool in that fourth string. This is not a mistake, folks. 156, 501 through four. Outstanding. And almost a lemon drop. Got a break there. Forceman check mark plus to 10. If I threw that on my first game on Monday night, uh, that would have been 855 bucks. My average is the 104. Chris, for a spin, looks good. Won't carry. You could be kidding me. 4, 7, and the 10. He's showing some signs of coming out of it at times, but he says to see the problem. I don't know what it's plus, whatever. I don't know. Anthony Karen with the update. I'll show you about just a moment. Chris Cooley, 8, 28 through 3 here in the 5th. So Anthony Karen says, wow, Casey, you just knew, set a new high class C division, beating Paul Atkinson Jr.'s 149, and she's beating Ty Clark's 584. Nice ball. Almost the same thing. This time it's the 6th to the right, 7th to the left, as a 10 pin went away. What a decent place, though. Mr. Wright. I don't know what's the plus on that. 108 pin lead in the match through four. And Chris Curley with a Paul Grant special again for a 10. Missed the second, make the third. 38 through four in the final string of the match. Trying to get at least two points. Nice ball there, but a 2 2 split, 2 1 split. 6 10 right, 7 left. Casey. So Casey needs a 99-600. Chris, good bid. Oh, we'll go. Oh. Wood tw twizzled, turned around, spun around, wouldn't go to the 7. In a strong half without a mark, a 10. Four tens and 8, a 48 half. So he's shown some signs of coming out of it during the match, but Case and McCool up 8 nothing, Coming up a 156. That's right, a 156. He just missed one in the 10th box. He's trying his fifth string. In the pocket, triangle, 2 4 in the 5. 397 is past three strings. Open here. Let's see, three, 358. Sorry, 398 is last three. Eight boxes to start the fifth. Down two box to box. 398, the last three strings out of 103 to start it on. One by five, one by 20, one by 40. And one the last one, whopping 68 pins against the 110 here. So all eyes, on, all eyes on Casey McCool going up at 600 in the Class C, folks. That is pro bowling. This is the four strings. For a square. Got it. 18 of the ball through two here in the fifth. And Chris Curley could bowl four strings out of five over averaging. Get nothing to show for it. On the bonus, three, six, ten right, seven left, one piece of wood, twenty-four through two. Sign five is six fifty-eight. Has the three and the seven remaining. Going sit for an eight, thirty-two through three, up four in the string. Has the match in hand. 12 points guaranteed, pretty much. 
Going for 14 on sweep. Back head pin. This time it's a spread eagle. Bullseye shot. 2 4 7 left. 3 6 10 on the right. Object pin won't carry. And funny game, you go from 156, sometimes you have a letdown. Object pin for the third time in a row on a six box. Ouch. Tied in the string, 38 feet through four, up against a 10 from Chris Curley. Casey needs a 99 to get the 600. A quarter, yikes. I'd rather get a lemon drop and pay a dollar. Casey, nice second ball. Breaks of the parallel pins. He has the five and ten. Woolworth discount. The Woolworth department chain. I think it's actually five and ten cents back then. Wide left for an eight, 46 half with a spare six in the second. Chris Curley leads by two. Five boxes to go in the match. We'll talk to Casey before we sign off. One fifty-six. One stream for Casey. Class C, folks. Chris Curley, half Worcester, the dreaded shot, my least favorite shot. Two tens and eight and two tens. Second ball. Will it go? Not quite. Wobbling two pin holds up. Two marks will put the pressure on Casey McCool. Early, another 10. 58 through 6 without a mark. That's a good sign. You're not marking, you got to pin well. Chris doing a fine job here in the fifth. This time it goes to the right, gets three. Yeah. Good second ball, all but the five. Made some good second shots today. Yeah. Had a chance to win that first string, spare two, spare one. Hurt him. Gets a nine that time, 67 through seven, with no marks. You need one mark minimum to have a chance to string more than likely. Two would help. Casey has been clutched on the stretch. Then hit there, gets four. Would to help though behind the back pins. Casey had a spare five in the eighth box of the first string. Two spares in the last two box of the second string. As Chris is open. Casey, two spares, last two blocks of the third, and a spare nine in the ninth. Three in a row, that seven, eight, nine, last string, including a double. 156, Chris Trillian, eight, 75 to eight. And this is why I enjoy covering Class C, folks. You never know what you're going to get. It's good for the game. Chris Curley, off to the right, three. Quarter yikes. A trying, 478, a 15 center western, a 10 pin. Needs a bunch here. Tough out, 6. 81 through 9. Needs a mark. Try to get at least two points, even a good note. Chris, three. Congratulations to Amanda Carroll, Glennis McKinley, Shannon Scribner, Tim DeRosier, and Mario Johnson. The top five ladies show. Candle Prince for Cancer and Scarborough Bay and live show. Saturday, January 14th, 11 o'clock. On Camp and Bow Network. Please come up to the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, on Route 1, beautiful facility. January 14th on Saturday, 11 o'clock. Share the mind. Chris Coya, 7, and back to back 88 strings. First few are decent. 
He ends up with a 481 for five. And Case McCool needs a mark for 600. 156. Insane. Fourth string. Lock the 10 boxes. Nine. Four pin left up. Spare six in the second box. And right on it for a spare. 56 in the ball through six. strikes the match. 16 spares. On the bonus, got a break on left side. That six been better off standing. The three, six, ten spare lead. 63 through six. For a spare. Ah, oh, got the object pen. Leaves up the six and ten. Nine, seventy-two through seven. He's twenty-seven in three boxes to get the six hundred. A one twenty pro average for the class C bowler will be a class B next year for sure. I would think. You never know. Head pin, thin hit, got a break. Almost a strike. Almost went. And the half Worcester looked like in the seven, but the two and the seven go, just the A pin would to help. Dominant performance the last two strings, especially. For a spare. Got it. Six hundred is looking good now. Eighty two and a ball through eight. Yeah, from Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Week seven of the eighteen week Atlantic Candlepin singles tour season. Again, if you like the bowl, message Jenny Finn, F I N N, or my friend who is in Spillers, Mass, or in Maine, Matt Hop or Mark Weber. Six in the spare, 88 through 8. All but the head pin. He's two pins away from a 600. 10, 98 through 9. He's at 599. Won't get to his high five at 658. We'll talk to Casey before we sign off. A 14 0 sweep on Chris Curley. Ty Clark in first place, Tony Lebeck in third. Half Worcester. He's at 600. Second ball won't carry. Chris. 6 10 right, 7 left. Nice out of 9, 107. Test string at a 103 in the first, 107 in the fifth, but in between a 119, a 123, and a 156. 608. For Casey McCool. Seventeen spares, four strikes in the match. That is professional bowling, folks. We'll talk to Casey in just a moment. We'll get the official scores on the screen. Outstanding performance after a dreadful performance. Last time out against Jason Brown. The number two seed in the conference, trying to get the number one. We'll put the scores on and talk to Casey before we sign off. Scores? I didn't get the last one. We'll talk to Casey in just a moment. I didn't get the last one. I don't know what he did. Chris had an 88. Okay. 481. 481, you said? Yeah. So Casey with a sweep 14-0. Chris had his chances early on. Casey clutched on the stretch every string. He got marks the eighth, ninth, and tenth ball, ninth and tenth blocks. 
398, the second, third, and fourth combined, a whopping 156 string. And as the ACSTI 5 for class C, at least. 608 to 481. What a performance. Let's talk to Casey before we sign off. around here. <laughs> Casey, you were brilliant today. Thank you, Paul. You got to feel bad for Chris. Chris was in it. Yeah. First couple of strings, looked like. Feel over here, buddy. I mean, look at these scores. I mean, 608. You yeah. know, this is supposed to be class C, you know. What are you doing here today? I don't know. This, this is Friday Night Pro League, Sunny Pro League. <laughs> yeah. This is a 121 plus average, almost 122 average. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> I, you, I couldn't even break, you couldn't even get 500 last time. I know. I know. I'm just... I mean, I've been bowling bad for the past couple of weeks. I've had a bad shoulder problem. I had to go to the hospital last week, and they gave me some steroids and all this stuff. So, oh, my, so you're, on, you're on drugs, huh? Well, <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. It was just for one week. <laughs> but yeah, my, my shoulder's feeling better, and I just don't know why I can't do this on Monday nights. A 156, if I did that on my first game on Monday night, I would have won like 800 bucks. I thought you could get your highest single. That the guy robbed that ten fox, that fourth string. Yeah. That mark could have got you a one sixty six. Yeah. Break your high single one sixty five. Yeah. A uh, dominating performance. Doesn't it feel like a dream sometimes? It does. When you're in that motion, you had six marks in the fourth. Yeah. Six marks in the third. Yeah. A uh, six oh eight, one oh three, one nineteen, one twenty three, one fifty six, folks. One five six for class C bowler, in a paltry one oh seven, but six oh eight. Yeah. In a fourteen oh sweep, yeah. coming in second place, coming in the conference. And Chris Curley did a, do a good job. He, he's a good bowler. I have a lot of respect for he him. He was over he's his average great. today, actually. Yes. But you're spotting 11 pins a string on it, on paper. So. Yeah. He's he's a really good guy. I, I love bowling with him sometimes, he's a, too. He's a good guy. Class act. He conducts oh, himself yeah. well and on off the lanes. Yeah. He's trying to improve his game. you got to admire the effort. And he's, you know, he's, he's working on his game. Mark Richie doing a good job teaching him. Yeah. So I hope to see him up, uh, get his average back up in the mid-90s. Soon. I'd like to see him get over 100 average, actually. Yeah, he's close to the first three <laughs> yeah. strikes. He's over, th over he 100 definitely the first do three it. strikes. He could definitely do it. All right, so Casey, no lemon drops today, but can you give us a three-letter word? Wow. <laughs> yeah, you're trained well. <laughs> Thank Congratulations. you, Paul. So Casey McCool, 14 nothing over Chris Curley, 608 to 481. Again, a 156 fourth string. Paul Green, San Solon for now. From Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour, Class C Division. Thank you for watching this great game of Candle from Bowling. See you soon. I'll send that photo to, um, what do you call it? Candy Finn, yeah. Yeah.